First, open CapCut and head to the text section. Click on Default Text and drag it onto your timeline. Once it's in place, click on the text box on the screen and type the text you want. Adjust the size to fit your needs. Don't be afraid to make it big and bold. Now, choose a font that stands out. I recommend something chunky and eye-catching that fills the screen nicely. Next, extend the text clip to match the length of your main video or as long as you need. For this tutorial, I'm setting it to about 12 seconds. With the text clip selected, go to the animation section and pick one you like. I'm choosing the typewriter animation and setting the duration to around 3 seconds. Take a moment to preview how it looks and when you're happy, export the clip. Now, import the exported clip back into your project and drag it onto the timeline. Then add your main video right after it on the timeline. Drag the text clip above your main video on the timeline. Next, click on the text clip and go to Video and then to Basic. Scroll down until you find the Blend menu. Open it, if it's not already visible, and under Mode, select Multiply. Play the video to check that the text is now blending with the main video. Now let's add some keyframes to give it a professional cinematic effect. Select the text clip, place the playhead about 2 seconds in, and go to Video and to Mask. Choose the Mirror Mask option. Add a keyframe by clicking the diamond-shaped button. It will turn blue to show it's active. Drag the edges of the mask outward until it covers the whole screen. Move the playhead forward to the point where you want the text to start revealing the main video. Add another keyframe in the same way, but this time drag the edges of the mask inward so the main video starts to appear. Now let's make the text fade out smoothly. Move the playhead a few seconds ahead and go to Video and to Basic, and then scroll down to the option Opacity. Add a keyframe with the opacity set to 100%. Move the playhead forward a bit more and reduce the opacity to 0%. Add another keyframe here. This creates a nice and smooth fade-out effect for the text. Finally, let's add an outgoing animation to make the text disappear nicely. Go back to Animation and click on Out. Pick an animation you like and adjust the duration to suit your style. Of course, don't forget to add some vibrant music before exporting. And that's it. Here's the final product.